Our first story today is a five-year-old startup that's creating waves in India's clean energy sector. Renew Power is the brainchild of a successful investment banker who then forayed into the renewable space with an aim to boost India's energy portfolio and transform the fast sector. Here's E.T. Dow's Libza Man. She caught up with the man behind Renew Power. Take a look. Gurugram-based Renew Power is a leading name in India's clean energy space that aims to transform the nation into a clean and green India. Five years ago, a visionary in the renewable energy sector, Sumant Sinha, launched Renew Power to boost India's energy portfolio with sustainable solutions using wind and solar energy. Today, the company has its presence across eight states in India. You are an IIT IIM alumnus who was enjoying a flourishing corporate career. Then what prompted you to take a plunge into entrepreneurship and uh, launch an independent power producer of clean energy? I was letting in some ways my own background, exactly the things you mentioned, IIT, IIM and a flourishing career, actually come in the way of taking risk because I had a safe and secure uh, job uh, you know, in which to just carry on. And so I realized that I should not let my background prevent me from doing what I thought was doable in the, in the market and given the opportunities that I was seeing. And so I decided to take the plunge and move on. Your five-year-old startup has recently emerged as India's first independent power producer to cross an installation capacity of 1000 megawatts. So tell us more about the commission capacity. Well, you know, we have, uh, as you rightly said, more than a 1000 megawatts now of commission capacity. And I am very proud that we are the first company to have got to this point. So of our total 1000 megawatts plus some installed capacity, about 80% is wind and the balance is solar. So as solar energy is emerging as the next big thing in the renewable energy space, Space. Is the focus likely to change in the next couple of years? Today, of if I, when I look at our pipeline of one and a half thousand megawatts, uh, almost 80-85% of that is actually solar. So we are really making the transition from, from a wind company to becoming a much more broad-based wind and solar company. Well, Renew not only aims to build a clean and green India, but also intends to change the lives of masses uh, with its strong focus on CSR. So tell us, how is Renew bringing in positive winds of change in the society? We've uh, adhered to a very high level of corporate social responsibility. So in all the locations that we operate in, we make sure that we are good uh, neighbors and good uh, community members. We provide um, services, whether it's schools, drinking water, constructing roads, uh, providing animal husbandry services. We do a lot of that kind of thing in medical camps for a lot of the villages where we are operating in. And our view is that we must have touched the lives of almost 100,000 people in different parts of rural India. Renew's outstanding performance and clean energy assets has not only won the hearts of Indian masses, but the brand's impressive portfolio has also garnered enormous global funding. Leading foreign investors like Goldman Sachs and many others have invested significantly to give a boost to the company's financial portfolio. Well, Renew has attracted some tremendous foreign investments. So tell us, how is the company playing the role of a wealth creator in India's economy? We've raised, as I said earlier, $650 million of equity capital from four different investors who are all very different from each other in different geographies, with different mindsets and so on. But they've all chosen to repose faith in us. Uh, our, our market cap in the last round of fundraising had crossed a billion dollars. And uh, uh, we hope to continue on that journey as we go forward. Well, Renew works closely with the government to provide clean energy solutions to the masses. Do you think there is significant focus from the government on the renewable energy space or do you wish to highlight some expectations? You know, the roadmap that we have uh, is only for auctions in solar for the next six months. But what will happen after that? That visibility is not very clear. So the government could actually give a roadmap for longer than that. And that would be very useful. The government has one primary objective, which is to reduce costs, uh, reduce tariffs, which is, of course, absolutely essential in a country like India. But at the same time, if you don't let capital providers make some returns, then future capital will not come into the sector. And the one thing that we need in the sector for this 125,000 megawatts of additional installations is a ton of new capital. What is the way forward for Renew? Is the company eyeing to create more records in the renewable energy space with its tremendous growth? As I said, we already have a pipeline of 1,500 megawatts in addition to the 1,000 that we've done. So our hope is that in the next 15 to 18 months, we'll cross 2,000 megawatts of installed capacity. 
uh, put a little bit more daylight between us and everybody else. What would be your go green message to the viewers? My go green message to the viewers is cut down on fossil fuels uh, to the extent that you can uh, reduce your own consumption of energy. Please try to do that um, and certainly encourage the government and uh, uh, policy makers to try to move towards cleaner sources of energy. Today, India occupies the third spot after US and China for being the biggest greenhouse gas emitter and Renew Power is all set to alter India's position with its green energy solutions. Within a span of five years, Renew has won several awards and boasts of many firsts to its credit, showing early signs of becoming a leader of tomorrow in the renewable sector. Small, medium and micro industries in India contribute nearly 8% of the country's GDP and with the successful launch of the Make in India campaign,